That shit don't work on me. Fuck your vase. What's the catch? That door seems breakable. I guess not. So why does it seem breakable? Let me try again. No. All right. Man, pompous Askel, I tell you, having such pictures here. Who's that even? Is that your grandma? All right, you're asking for a grenade, but considering I'm trying to conserve. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind, not gonna conserve shit. You actually deserve that grenade. Woo! All right. So it's not too hard. Just bait it out. That's stupid. I don't even know how that happened. Cause I need some tuition. Make him feel like I need some consolation. Cool. Uh, so I guess I could go around to get the health. Yeah, okay. Sorry, man, I ain't gonna take the bait. There we are. Fully stacked, as they said. Ah, I see. Oh, that's a grenade launcher. All right. Well, I'm just not going to do that. How far do you shoot it? Right at my feet. Fuck me. All right. I literally... You know what? This guy thinks he's some tough shit. Hi, my bro. That's nice. What a fucking idiot. I mean, you're the fucking idiot who didn't figure this out faster. Yeah, gee, thanks, me. So we have a grenade launcher now. <laughs> this game is like giving us all the crazy shit. That's not health, I know. It's not. Well, bro, you know, that's kind of not cool. 
That's not what I wanted to do. Max, why you do that? There's a woman on the bed. Or doesn't want to close. That's fine. That's even better. <sighs> Lovely. Is there still music going? It was too late for her. Hold on, we'll see. Uh, let me stop the music. I love it, but like. I like the in game music also. Well, let me do something here. I completely neglected this one thing to do. I didn't change, didn't switch the thing on Twitch. Where I was streaming. It's probably on just chatting, yeah. Shit. Well, there we go. Gotta change that to. Classic. You're a real angel, Max. I couldn't tell whether it was Mona or her sister. The body was a mess. The sick bastard had really gotten a kick out of it. Seeing her lying there got me thinking about another woman's body on another bed. Got me thinking about a fallen cradle. Ooh. Ooh. It's hard to hear that, Max. All right. What do you got here? Jack shit. What do you got here? Jack shit. Hey, you guys. I wonder who it is. Hello? Max Payne. Talk to me. Alfred Woden. You've got company. An armed helicopter just landed on the manor grounds. You must hurry. The more the merrier. That's is is the cops? Is it the last guy? So chapter four, five, chapter two, 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 chapter two, 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 one. I'm just gonna wait for him to come. I don't have to go. Right? He's gotta be stupid enough to know that. To come on. Oh, he. Well, hold on a moment. Oh, okay. I know where this is. I also know that painting over there. I've seen it before. I've seen a variant of it. Man, this fucking mansion. Guys, you ain't gonna have a good time. Oh. What the fuck? I, I am completely in shock that that happened. But here's what's gonna happen, really, in reality. Somebody got lucky. <laughs> what fucking hit me? You're not gonna roll. How many bullets? Who are you, bro? Terminator? Oh, no, I see that. But what you're gonna see is your end. As I do this. Fuck! Somebody was in the way! Well, it doesn't matter! Punchinello's trio was done for. Man, I took so much damage. I reloaded it anyways. Alright. I'm just gonna wait for the health to regenerate a little bit. Don't want to like risk it. Oh, there's nobody here, anyways. Sorry, guys. Bad stuff happens to bad people. Outside my door. Hurry. It's coming for me. You gotta hurry. Please. 
I could hear Punginello on the phone begging for help. He should have been saying his goodbyes. You look like my cousin. Punginello was a pushover. The moment I stepped into the room, he folded like a deuce before a royal flush. No, wait. I was just doing what I was told. I couldn't refuse. She's someone high up. Government, maybe. I don't know. The he was trying to buy more sand for his hourglass. I wasn't selling any. No, I told him nothing. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. All right. Listen. At least it do the courtesy of allowing you to see that. No, yeah, he didn't tell me shit. That's true. And they shot him. Shit. Hey, aren't you... Uh, what's his face? Uh... Oh my god, that... Edgar, uh, fucking Alan Poe. What's his face? Edgar Allan Poe? Aren't you Edgar Allan Poe? Well, I'm pretty sure that's Edgar Allan Poe. Why do you have a... Why do you have a picture of Edgar Allan Poe here, man? What's on the table? Just give me information. He was dead. Lying on the floor. I had no information. All I had were dead bodies, ammunition, and bloodstains. This night couldn't get any worse. Or oh, so I thought. Da 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 Oh, Jesus! Well, I was right with that quote. I was outgunned. It was time to take another beating. The mystery witch was a real barracuda. Trouble on dagger heels, a smoking assault rifle in her hand, and an army of killer suits behind her. How sweet. I get to kill two birds with one stone. Sooner or later, it was going to catch up with you. Mr. Payne, it's time to show you the benefits of my brew. Be a good boy now. You'd find that Lady Luck was really a hooker. Ah! You were fresh out of cash. <laughs> Gentlemen, we're done here. Take me to Cold Steel. She had just given me an OD of Valkyr. I could feel green fire eating my brains. They turned to steam. They did a fade on me. I'd never had a chance. The witch had got me just as sure as if she put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. But... The shadows rushed me. Bruised mugshot faces hungry for revenge. They knew my weak spots and closed in for the kill. The floor turned into a vortex of green blood. I fell. All right, nice, Max. Hey, oh, right, we got any weapons? No, we got shit all. I hate this fucking field of view. It's awful. So what? Okay, so here's the thing. What you're seeing right now? Oh, hold on, let me make sure you're seeing that. I want to know which one. Hold on. Uh, bu 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 bu. which? All right, mm, show me what you got. Show me what you have got. What I? What do you see? No, let's let's do jibba. No, that shit. What you see is closer to what I see on the right. It's even darker for you than it is for me. So, imagine that what you see exposed like you turn the gamma up real a lot and you can't even fucking remove it which is the worst part like i can't do anything about it fucking horrible but hey you know what it is what it is who's there max oh god not this shit again max is that you yes it is me are you my mother you sound like my mother max where are you max okay the voices are clearer no actual amazes. 
I feel them. I hear them. No, please, Max, no, she cries. Please don't, Max, no. As I get close, I hear the crying baby. I get closer. Max? I hear her death. Where are you, Max? Please. She calls for me. The letter was staring at me. The letter was staring at him. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a graphic novel. The truth split my skull open, a glaring green light washing the lies away. All of my past was just fragmented still shots, words hanging in the air like balloons. I was in a graphic novel, funny as hell. It was the most horrible thing I could think of. Hmm. Super meta, bro. Phone's ringing. Moshi Moshi! Bartender is shiny stuff and dreams are made of stupid necromancers. He sings like a banana wrist, having strayed too close to the constellations on their shaved skulls. The there was a bad line in the prank call. Someone spouting insane babble, I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu. And the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. He's picking up with a gun! You saw that, right? That was a gun? The weird piece of paper looked dangerous. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a computer game, Max. Meta! The truth was a burning green crack through my brain. Weapon statistics hanging in the air glimpsed out of the corner of my eye. Endless repetition of the act of shooting. Time slowing down to show off my moves. The paranoid feel of someone controlling my every step. Ah. I was in a computer game. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. So, we're in a video game. What's the phone call? The developers? It's Valkyr. The drug. Snap out of it. Try to remember. It was a bad line in a prank call. Someone spouting insane babble. I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu. And the caller's voice sounded oddly for me. It is a gun. Ooh. I accidentally went to the fire. Wait, no, I want to go back. I want to get another meta commentary. Can I turn on the TV? No. Well, the game moves slowly uh, unless you're doing a roll. Well, me no bueno that one. Oh boy, that's a shame, again. Look! Mamma mia! Unless you're doing a roll. I'm not gonna be able to make that. I didn't make it. The crime's coming from over here. I can make that jump. I guess I gotta jump down here. Stay in line. Stay in line, Max. Don't fall down. Yep, there it is. rock a baby, rock a I'm gonna rock ya, rock a baby, don't you cry. Max, no, Max! He 
got picked up by the microphone even. Oh nice, we picked up the gun. Max thought he killed her. Self-blame. Max, something happened at the office today. A strange memo. Something about Vikings. Honey, I gotta run. You can tell me all about it this evening. Have a nice day, darling. The bullet holes were rubies on her chest. Blood glowing on her eyes. Vikings. She was so beautiful. The killer was smiling. The flesh of fallen angels. Wasn't Vikings or Valkyrie? Okay. Max didn't pick up on that. Slowly, the green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining. I was all shook up. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. The hag had said, take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. It was a clue. The only one I had. It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road. But when I did, I drove straight to Cold Steel Foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood, adrenaline pumping through my aching veins. Staggering on the mill roof in ice and snow and wild wind, I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. I wasn't hitting anybody. At best, I was Superman and Kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. That's about right. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. Wow, 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 wow. In the belly of the plant, molten metal boiled and bubbled like a witch's brew. 